How's it going guys? It's Cherokee Ronnie back at you with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to weld your manifold that's cracked. If you don't have no money to buy an aftermarket header or the ones with the flex joints in them. And we'll be talking about some tips how to keep this from crapping, cracking more. And we'll be talking about some other things about uh, different options and stuff like that. If you hear something howling, it's, it's the uh, welder over there. So I'm trying to keep the mic on as best as I can. But um, my buddy said this had a crack in it, but I'm not really seeing any cracks in this at all. Oh, yep, right there. So we're going to go ahead and try to weld that up today. Hopefully we can. Uh, you want to drill a hole here. And drill a hole over here to keep it from... Uh, from going any farther. That's the best way to do it than weld up the hole and weld up the crack. Now as you can see the crack runs right along this weld. That's a stress crack stress crack stress that's a stress crack all the way along this weld. So what we're gonna do is weld it up. And yes the studs are broke out of this but I, I pound them out and put bolts in them. So what we need to do is actually drill a hole here and drill a hole over here. All right, now we got the hole drilled right here and right here. This will stop the crack from continuing. So what you want to do is weld this hole up and then weld the crack all the way around. So let's go ahead and get to that. Um, that probably was too big of a hole, really. You can get a smaller drill bit if you want. I mean, that ain't too big, but could have been smaller. This stuff ain't too hard to drill through. This stuff is kind of junk anyway from the factory. It's weak anyway. Let's go ahead and weld it up. All right, now we got that welded up pretty good. Um, it shouldn't crack no more, so we're gonna go ahead and look for more cracks. And I'm gonna show you a tip to keep it from cracking in the future. Then we'll be talking about why it cracks and you know the big, the big myth of why these are junk. I'm not finding any more. Oh, right here, got another crack. So we're gonna have to weld that one up. And I think that's it.
All right, now we got that piece welded, and this piece is welded. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, what we're going to do next. I went ahead and went over this off camera. There's no more cracks in this thing whatsoever. I mean, it's not hard to save these bad boys. This takes a little time and a welder. But after you get all the cracks welded up, drilled and welded up, here's what you want to do. See this? You want to put you a bead right here. Keeps these pipes from flexing back and forth. And you can get a piece of a piece of flat stock and put across there like I'm going to do here in a minute and show you. And uh, that way it'll keep it from flexing. Because what these things do, what these things do, um, your motor mounts get bad or they get kind of loose. I recommend going and getting uh, brown dog off-road aftermarket mounts for the motor side and the uh, unibody side, or the Jeep side. Um, if you're going to put this back on there because your mounts get wore out and your motor starts flexing and it starts pulling on the exhaust. I don't care if you have rubber mounts um, on when you're exhausting stuff. That that straight six has a lot of torque and it's pulling on the it's pulling on the exhaust pretty good. It just don't crack for no reason. Um, I mean they are pretty thin from the factory. Uh, as you've seen the video I had a problem welding that thin piece up at the top. They are kind of thin. Just take your time. You'll get it. Um, run the beads down in the middle like I said and you should be okay then take a piece of flat stock I'll show you how to weld it on there and put across there that's the way I do it and after I do it if I don't have the money to buy a new one um, that's how I do it it saves me money it just I got a little time on my hands if you have a welder and if you have some steel laying around or you don't even have to put steel in there and you can do it just an hour and a half in your garage so I uh, hope, uh, hope you learned a little something from this so let's go ahead and get back to the the old header. I didn't have any flat stock laying around. Don't mind that crappy weld, tack weld. So I found this old piece of metal. The flat stock I had laying around was too thick. So I found this old piece of metal. I tack welded it on. So we're going to tack weld the other side and go ahead and lay a bead here and here. And we should be good to go. Like I said, you don't have to do this. How I weld it here, I weld a T and I go between the pipes. That's just me. This is what I've been doing for the last two years when I couldn't afford a, uh, a new manifold or anything. So I repaired these ones and I've come to find out they ain't cracked anymore. So I must be doing something right. As you can see there, went a little crazy and went kind of around. I just try to get around the corners off when I weld it a little bit. So I just kind of make it round. And what you can do, like I said, I got this welded, that welded, that piece welded. So I just kind of weld around it in kind of a U shape and kind of melt the metal together. And uh, that's what you do. It works pretty good for me. I hope it works for you if you take my advice. Or if not, that's all right. I just thought I'd share this with you guys. And I can show you that this is melted in the metal pretty good. I'll tap on it a little bit. I mean, it's pretty solid. I'm bending the metal, I'm not even breaking the weld, so. I've just got this, got this welder, so I'm kind of still getting used to it. It's the uh, Lincoln Electric 125 HD weld pack. Um, I'm used to using a Hobart and it's just a little bit different. This one takes a little bit more skill, I think. So uh, my Hobart, I could do a lot better. Maybe I'm just used to it and the way it runs. This one's like totally different. So you have to bear with me on the welds. <laughs> but hey, I think they look pretty good. Here's the finished product. Maybe I can paint it up, make it look good. It looks kind of rough now, but. So this is what the finished product looks like. Um, I didn't bother cleaning up the slag because it's going to be under the Jeep anyway. I didn't bother cleaning this up because it's going to be on the side of a Jeep, so it doesn't matter. So I went ahead and welded this up, welded that up. Like I said, I'm not perfect at welding. I went ahead and made the T shape that they do online all the time, and I went ahead and welded the tab on. I'm sure if I would have cleaned it up, it'd look ten times better, but 
It's not going to be perfect. So. Anyway, this should last the life of the whole Jeep. So. so I thought I'd give this little manifold header or whatever you want to call it. I call it a header tip. Um, this is the way I do it, and it's the way I've been doing it for the last two years, and it's been holding up just fine. When my other Jeeps, I know my other Jeep, uh, I just put a new manifold on it with the flex joints. I'm actually doing this for a buddy, but uh, they hold up just fine. And he's seen me do this before, and he knows they hold up, so that's why he wanted me to do it this way too. The, the welder's a little funny. I got it brand new for my birthday. I'm just not getting used to it yet. I should have practiced a little bit before I used it, but trial and error. But um, I do have parts coming for the Project Jeep. They're finally on their way after the snowstorm melted away and all this crap. And I got some, you know, I got a lot of surprises coming here in the next, I'd probably say week, next week. Uh, the metal shops um, ordering the two by six for the rock rails from a Jeep. If you did not know, I am adding another, another thing to the list on the Project Jeep, putting two by six rock rails down on the rocker panels and then I'm going to weld both sides pretty much is what you call it, plate to the frame to that that way it keeps it solid so I'll probably be the next project I do have the diff guard in I don't want to go ahead and put that on because that don't make no sense without putting the locker in I might as well do it all while I'm there so I'm just going to go ahead and hopefully the machine shop gets it Monday or Tuesday because this is why I'm not like I don't want you guys to think that I done quit on the build or I'm broke or something I'm just waiting like I'm waiting I didn't think I'd be waiting this long on stuff like that so like I said the snow screwed us up on parts and the machine shops taking their time so you think they'd have that in stock I don't know hopefully we can get it and get that done cut the rocker panels out there'll be a video on that and I'll probably do a video on the uh, Lincoln the new Lincoln welder I just got so go ahead and check that out but anyway all my social medias are down below if you want to follow me on those facebook instagram and snapchat you better do so because you see things a personal life and you can see things that before they even come on video um, go check out treadright.com they have affordable mud tires the cheapest tires on the market today they are remolded not a recap so uh, i got a i got a set of them and i'll probably run a set on my project jeep hey, i'm cherokee ronnie stay dirty my friends